right, well, welcome back, everyone. As you guys see, I'm in a different vehicle for thrifting day. That's because we're doing lots of activities today. I actually bought a storage locker here last week, and uh, today's the day to clean out. We got snow and all sorts of stuff, so today's the day to clean out. It's actually pretty close to this Karen Share thrift, short, uh, thrift shop, so I figured I'm going to go here, and I'm going to go to the Goodwill outlet bins. So it's going to be all outlet stuff, as you can see, outlet um, and bin stuff today. That's what our thrift video is going to be about. Uh, I don't usually go to the Goodwill outlet store, but I figured this other store's locker is only like four or five miles away, so might as well go there and check it out. Let's get into it. Let's see what we can find at these outlet stores today. Let's do it. So I left the outlet store, and now I left the variety store. There's just like no inventory here because it was closed yesterday uh, due to the weather. As you see, the snow's not, not here anymore. But it was closed yesterday, so they didn't put out any inventory. So I guess Days where they closed because of snow, probably not the best, and days they're just closed because they're closed. The next day after is probably not the best. I was talking to the lady in there and she said that they didn't put out, uh, they don't have any bins to put out because no one was there to inventory anything in the past couple days. So, no reason to stick around. I did notice that it was really empty, and then the variety store is really empty as well. We'll be on to the Goodwill Outlet store and hopefully it will do a little bit better there. Well, uh, Goodwill Outlet Store. Let's try to get this maybe as a thumbnail. Probably have indents on my nose right now. I was wearing sunglasses. This, uh, it's like just a really bad day. It's a lot, just not good. <laughs> it's warm enough, which is nice. I'm gonna run into this store first. That's the outlet store over there. I figure while we're here, we might find one or two items. All right, so I grabbed the San Diego t-shirt, find a place in a store where the music isn't that loud. I grabbed one shirt. i um, not really happy because the prices here are crazy price, like four fifty dollars for a t-shirt. I mean, this should be like a dollar or two dollars, but it's a school I don't have, and it's a Made in USA t-shirt, so it is a little bit older, and I know I definitely would sell it, so if I can triple my money, I'll be happy. If not, it is what it is. Here's the electronic section. You have an older calculator adding machine kind of thing right there. This looks like a, possibly a computer. It's, no, it's a scanner. The uh, section for electronics. I know Craigslist Hunter's electronic section at his Goodwill is a lot better than this. This is pretty, uh, pretty pitiful. You got a couple printers and a radio, some scanners, stuff like that. So I'm gonna grab this t-shirt and I'll head over to the outlet section. All right, so we're gonna run to here. I gotta throw this in there, into the van. Uh, they did have a Kyle Korver 76ers jersey in there. It wasn't stitched, but the bottom hem, and this is kind of something you have to look on these jerseys, is the bottom hem sometimes gets torn or ripped. That one was ripped, and it was like all falling apart on the bottom, but you would have never have noticed it because there's a black jersey, and you just you probably wouldn't have noticed it unless you really looked. But I knew that was going to be a problem moving forward. And it's probably like a $10 to $15 jersey. Knowing these places, they probably charge them 20 bucks for it. But I decided to put it back and go in here, the outlet store.
Hershey Bears. This is minor league hockey. Not bad, not bad. Looks like a medium or a large. Large it is. Might have shrunk to a medium. That'll work. Got a couple other things here. This thing's kind of cool. What do you think? It's like an old racing team's jacket. It says size medium, but these things always fit small, so I'll buy it. If I don't want it, I'll just sell it. What's this thing? This is a, a De Marini softball bat, a softball bag. Uh, these things, when I when they first came out, were pretty expensive. They had a bunch of different brands made out made these things, but you can see this is all flailing off. It's no good. This I like this, but this thing weighs a lot, and it's probably like ten or fifteen bucks. Which you know I can probably get ten bucks for it, but I'm not gonna mess with that because it goes by weight here. You should wear gloves when you're here. That's why I'm being kind of careful when I bring gloves. Yeah. Hangers on hangers. Check out this jacket. Jim's Inn. But look at its tear. That is brutal. 1972. 1973. Pretty cool. That's an old tag. But that tag, this thing is like something somebody wore probably 300, 400 times. All right, some older Jamaican Me Crazy t-shirt. So I'm gonna throw this in my pile. I got this awesome 90s Miami Hurricanes sweatpants. It's weird that they're in white, but I think I'm gonna grab them anyway. I got a couple things of clothes. I don't know what, what in the world that is. But I'm about to head out of here. It's, uh, they're not bringing out new brick rack stuff. It looks like they might bring out more clothes in about an hour, but then we'll head out of here got a couple good things so i'm happy with that all right so i grabbed a bunch of stuff i spent eight dollars and like 21 cents which isn't bad considering you know one of those items i'm going to at least get 15 20 dollars for i think i'm going to probably make about 50 or 60 off that which given that i kind of came here for you know kind of just an extra day of thrifting i think i'll be all right i did stop at a salvation army and grab some other things on the way down i'll show you guys someone you might want to see that i'll just show you my favorite find there uh, I'm not a big Pittsburgh guy, but I just love this sweatshirt if I can ever get undone. It's kind of like a Pittsburgh City sweatshirt. It's an older one. It's made by, the print is YPMO, but it's one of those older Hanes. Hanes activewear. I just like the sweatshirt. It's got nice colors. Perfect for the fall. I don't know if it'll fit me. If it does, I'll probably just keep it. Like I said, I think I've only been to Pittsburgh. I've never even been to Pittsburgh. I've been to Johnstown, which is by Pittsburgh, but it's going to wrap it up. Been a fun day. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you guys enjoy thrifting, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe for more videos. Uh, it should be fun. I think tomorrow coming out with the storage locker video. And uh, until next time, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.